Hi guys, Jemima Montag here with this week's update of athletics in Australia. And what a week it's been. The Melbourne Track Classic was an exciting night with some fantastic performances and a classic Lakeside Stadium sunset for everyone's Insta story. The 5,000 metres saw Jess Hull and Stewie McSwain secure their second Tokyo nominations, with Stewie dedicating his run to dear friend and mentor Maury Plant. And then there was Liz Clay in the 110 hurdles. What a beautiful execution. I spent the weekend down in Adelaide for the 20 km racewalking national titles, but you'll have to stay tuned to find out more of those results. Coming up this Thursday is the Canberra Track Classic, which is set to be a really great night with some of Australia's top athletes on show. I'll now hand over to Maddie Lynch for the full wrap on this week's high performance results. Thanks, Jemima. Our week two of the Coles Summer Super Series saw us head to Lakeside Stadium for the 2020 Melbourne Track Classic. Stuart McSwain was way too strong for the field, blowing the race apart after three kilometers to take the win and secure his second Tokyo 2020 automatic nomination. Moochie was coming off a PB season in 2019 that led her to Doha, but it was Liz Clay who stole the show, tearing down the track to an epic new PB and her first 13 second run. That effort launched her up the all time list to number four. In his second comp of the year, Denny took the win in a season's best 64-22, setting himself up for a big 2020. Now showcasing her immense talent, Aboya looks poised to recapture her late 2019 form with a commanding 52.06 victory in the women's 400 meters. It was a thrilling 800 meters that saw Geordie Williams burst through for the win. It also produced two great runs from Luke Young and Jack Lunn. And they both landed themselves under 20 qualifiers for the world champs. At the Dubai Para World Championships, Vanessa Lowe got her first gold in the green and gold as she took out the win in the T61-63 long jump. On Thursday, she takes on bronze medalist from Dubai in the T64 long jump, Sarah Walsh. Just over a year ago, Madison De Rosario set the world record here on the AIS track over the two laps. This year, she'll be pushed by Dubai T54 bronze medalist over the 800, Liza Alt-Connell. There'll be plenty of bragging rights on the line as training partner Scott Reardon and the White Tiger Chad Perris look to perform in front of a big home crowd this Thursday. Now a full complement of Doha representatives will be on the starting line in the women's 100 hurdles with Michelle Jenica, Brianna Bean and Celeste Mucci. But after last week's heroics, they'll be all chasing the fourth fastest woman of all time over the distance, Liz Clay. Can we see the first four under 13 seconds? Can't wait to find out. There's plenty of depth in the men's 400 at the moment, but it'll be Doha men's captain Steve Solomon that'll hold on to the favourite tag for these 400 metres. After another fantastic year in 2019, Brandon Stark opens up his season against Doha teammate Joel Baden, and fresh off a of PB 222 a fortnight ago, junior Oscar Myers will also be in the mix. Newly crowned national record holder Katrina Bissett hits the truck for the first time in 2020, up against George Griffith and local star Keely Small. But there's so much more at the Canberra Track Classic this year, including the men's 100, the 3K steeple, the women's 400 hurdles, and the women's high jump. I can't wait. Now, touted as the best women's 5,000 metres field for some time, the pace was on early with eventual winner Jess Hull running her second fastest time over the distance and grabbing another Tokyo 2020 qualifier. She said she still isn't sure if she likes the 5K yet, but it all seems to be working out pretty well so far. The 20K race walking champs were on over the weekend in Adelaide, and having both already notched a Tokyo qualifier each, Dane Bird Smith and Jemima Montag both took out the national title, and in doing so, landed themselves that coveted automatic Olympic nomination. What a perfect segue into our newest segment, On the Road to Tokyo, showcasing the thoughts and feelings of those athletes who have qualified. Jemima, tell us how it feels to know that you're on your way to represent your country at the 2020 Olympics. Olympic birth feels sacred, exciting, and motivating. Sacred because I know it's a once in a lifetime opportunity that isn't afforded to many. Exciting because as a girl in little athletics, the Olympics was something we dreamt of, but even the word gives me butterflies to this day. And motivating because my purpose now feels stronger than ever. My ability to reach out to and inspire others will lift and with that support, anything's possible. Knowing that Tokyo will be a hot and humid competition means that the endurance athletes in the next six months will be doing heat camps in places like Cairns, using the VIS heat chamber facilities, chasing altitude in St. Moritz before heading into Wakayama heat camp with the rest of the Australian team. We'll also be practicing hydration strategies and different fueling mechanisms to get our engines revving to go. I can't wait for the challenge. Now this Thursday we head to the nation's capital for the Canberra Track Classic. Tickets are still available, but if you can't make it there in person, tune in to the Athletics Australia live stream on YouTube and Facebook. See you there. The Coles Summer Super Series is very proud to be hosting some of Japanese athletics' finest athletes and coaches. 
We saw some amazing results at the Melbourne Track Classic, especially with Hitomi Nia, winner of the Houston Half Marathon last month in a national record, who finished in second place in the women's 5000 to Jessica Hull. We were able to have a chat with Japanese coach Masato Yokota about what it means to compete in Australia for his team. The Japanese winter is really harsh, it's really cold, and then all Australian weather is really nice for us to train. And then my athletes I competed last night, so women's uh, 1500 and 5000. And, uh, and Hitomi, uh, the, who ran uh, 5000, uh, trained for the half marathon last month, and then she broke the national record, and then she moved to the 10K. And then, so the last night is speed training for her, and a 15-15 is really good uh, result for her, and we are really satisfied with that. And we are moving to the uh, some competitions in Australia, and then head to Auckland. And our start, uh, our season will start in April in Japan. So, yeah, we're very excited to compete in Australia in and uh, New Zealand. NAB Run West is all about fun. Grab your family and friends for Western Sydney's biggest community event, Sunday, March 29, 2020. If you've taken up the challenge of the NAB Run West 12km event, rev up with thousands of your fellow fun runners at the start line at Sydney Motorsport Park. You'll burn rubber on the track on your way to one of the most unique fun run experiences ever, running through the new Sydney Zoo. With lions, tigers and plenty of cute and cuddly animals cheering you on, you'll pass through the stunning Western Sydney parklands and take in the on-course entertainment and cultural activities celebrating the diverse Western Sydney community. If you're participating in the NAB Run West 4km family fun run, start the day by jumping to the front of the crowd and be stage front for the pre-run entertainment with celebrities and entertainers. If you're a sports fan, you'll love the 4km fun run start zone, where player appearances and activities are taking place with the likes of the GWS Giants, Sydney Thunder, Western Sydney Wanderers and the Sydney Blue Sox. The finish line is right outside West HQ and you'll receive your awesome NAB Run West Finishers Medal before making your way into the NAB Run West Finish Line Festival at West Headquarters. There's awesome food, hours of live entertainment on the main stage, heaps of fantastic activities from our partners, appearances from celebrities and sports stars, competitions, giveaways and more. Register now at www.runthewest.com.au I'm sending all of my fellow Australian athletes happy, healthy, strong energy for the remainder of the season. I'll see you all down at the track at Sydney Nationals as part of my trail to Tokyo. And if you'd like to follow the rest of my Olympic preparations, you can head over to at Jemima Montag on Instagram. Adios.